Ayan. Good morning, everyone. I missed you. Namiss niyo ba yung mukha ko? Wala tayong video kahapon. So today, I'm gonna be changing the topic instead of talking about uh, ano tawag dyan? Um, di ba, promise ko sa yung topic ngayon was really the cup and handle but a more pressing issue. Ang dami, kasi, ang dami ko kasi natatanggap na tanong about this, about sa PHA. So yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. I, cha- I just changed the, the title. So we're gonna talk about that. Let me just open my count really quick and so if you have any questions if you have anything to discuss if you want to discuss something please post it on the comments para pag-usapan po natin ngayon today we're going to be talking about um ano nangyari kay PHA right um what happened to PHA um what is it about how can we benefit from it and if you want to get in ano po pwede strategy cuz i want to teach you a strategy especially na maganda po ang nangyayari kay PHA. So, pag-usapan po natin yan ngayon. Later, um, we're gonna be, uh, if you're just watching the replay of the video, please go to around 8.15. I mean, no. 8.40 tayo mag-discuss dito ngayon eh. Uh, please go to around 25 minutes of the video. Kasi doon po yung discussion. Magsisimula. Kasi unahin ko po yung mga greetings and comments ng mga tao. Speaking of greetings, good morning to my daughter Laika and to everyone here. So yan. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Medyo change topic tayo ngayon ha. Kasi uh, yun. Um... Joel Gares, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Let me just double check my Here, audio. So, yan. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin. Yan. Very good. Audio is okay. Uh, good morning um, from Joel. Hops, good morning, uh, Sir Lloyd. May factor ba ang swerte sa stock market? Chart request po sana, IRC, CLC, and MPI. Very good question. Swerte. Right. May factor ba ang swerte sa market? Yes, it it plays a big factor. Basically, swertihan naman yan eh. Kasi, uh, for example, um, si PHA, right? Uh, we weren't expecting this. All, all we knew was uh, merong uh, tawag dyan, may magandang linuluto sa PHA. That's the only information that I knew about. Right? And the company's doing well, especially the investments nila. So, um, that's why I recommended PHA. But to tell you, honestly, I didn't go all in kay PHA. Um, Doon ko linigay kay ISM. Still, nanalo ta kay ISM, kay PHA. Eto, we were just prepared. We just put in a company na maganda ang outlook and, and then swerte na natin may investors lang pumasok na napakalaki. Diba? 15 billion ang ilalagay sa kanila. We're gonna be talking about that. Swerte natin yun. Right? It's really hard to do that. Um, really hard to catch these kinds of stocks. So, I'd say there's a big factor ang swerte sa stock market. Minsan nga eh, um, as long as you put in uh, as long as you put in Uh, whatever amount you want on a good stock that you think is uh, is gonna be doing well. Ang kagandahan kasi niyan, pag maganda ang company, it will attract investors. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Um, as long as the company is doing well, that's why we bet on the company. Not because of its current state, but because of its possible future. We position kay BHC kasi kakasimula niya pa lang and it started well. Ang ganda ng business, uh, ang ganda ng business platform nila. They opened two mining com- uh, companies na pasok pa sila sa build, build, build. That's gonna attract investors. That's why I really, uh, that's why I I go into these uh, stocks. Yung mga kakasimula pa lang. Tulad yung CPG, kakasimula pa lang ulit. They just restarted kasi ang laki ng baba nila, di ba? So that's why I'm recommending, I was recommending CPG because they're rebooting right so, si Didi nagre-reboot na rin and then if they're gonna show good numbers most probably they're gonna get investors at aakyat din naman yan sila naunahan lang si P, uh, si PHA right um I wanna show you my port so ito si PHA uh we are already this is my mock port uh hindi siya mock port linagan ko pa rin ng pera but at least I have a public port uh it's already 128% we weren't expecting this swerte lang natin yan right i already sold half yesterday kasi bumaba <laughs> right? but um yeah um this is swerte i, I consider pha as swerte you can't really catch these kinds of stocks right um si pal kahapon that was kind of my research da- dapat yon um kasi ang laki, ang laki rin ng galaw ni Pal kahapon, di ba? Um, but with PHA, I'd say this is swerte lang talaga. It's, uh, I won't uh, won't consider this as a skill kasi mas linagay ko kay ISM. Uh, ISM is negative 1.87 right now. Uh, but I've already sold half of this uh, doon sa taas. Uh, so, yun. Um, swerte, yeah. It would... Uh, 
may factor din ang swerte talaga stock market. Very good question ano si Hop. So, hello Multifalco, good morning. Good morning Sir Lloyd Laika. Ano po ibig sabihin na negative net income sa earnings tas positive ang percentage? That means mas malaki ang lugi nila last year. Ngayon kahit negative ang income nila but it's lesser negative compared to uh, compared to last year kaya mas malaki ang percentage na kukuha, right? Um, that's for Dong J. Um, Joe Marlim, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Then Addison C, good morning. Um, VD Amavi, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pacheck po sana ng Seb. Alright, let's write these down. Ito mga request ninyo. Ayun nga pala si Hops, may request yun eh. Alright, hindi ko nasulat. Um, IRC, CLC, MPI, and FIN. Mustahin natin yun. Um, may tanong dito. Anong site ako nang tumitingin sa research ko? I look at edge.psc.com mga news random news out there and then most especially I talk to people who are in the companies right um eto eto yung sinasabi ko sa inyo if you surround yourself with people who are successful you're gonna be successful too I, uh, I talk to people who knows about companies and may, um, they have connection to these companies they give me information about that uy maganda to ha so I I'll read about that and then that's when uh, that's where uh, how I know about these com uh, these issues, right? Start start uh, start spending time with people who can give you these kinds of information. Talaga, I have friends na nasa video yung mga ganon. They will help you with the research. Oi, ma uh, may may annual report na ba kayo or maganito ganyan or ano ba projections companies niyo? May projects ba in the future? Oo, masasabi nila sa iyan. Right? That's something you can consider. Oi. Meron itong, may, may sinabi sa ano, baka maganda. Tapos hanapan ko na ng pwesto yung company na yan. Tapos papasok na ako. Ganun ang ginagawa ko. Alright, um, uh, nasulat ko na ba ito? IRCCLC. Ayan, Fen. Um, from Dong J. Um, si Fen, right? On golfing. Alright, tignan natin si Fen ngayon. Jomar Lim. Bakit hindi ko nasulat si Fen kung nag-engolfing? Tingnan natin ngayon. Ayan. Addison, good morning. Seb naman. Um, pacheck po sana kay Seb. Seb is looking well. Uh, we'll check out Seb. May magandang projection si Seb. Eh. Right? Um, tinitingnan ko rin isa research si Call Financial. Right? Call Financial research is very good. Let me go to uh, dito sa home. Yeah, makikita nyo po dito. This is very helpful for you guys. Tech Spotlight. Ayan. Ang dami pong ano. Cement Sector Outlook. Generally more positive outlook this year. Um, notes Costco. This is very helpful for you guys. Gamitin nyo po ito. Right? This is very this is very helpful for you. The research of Call. One, ha one, one of the uh, uh, best uh, brokers out there when it comes to research yan napa, magagamit nyo po yan yung research ni Call Financial that's what I look at also um, Dana Angela good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika thanks you po sa help and guidance niya, especially to, to us newbies I'm happy to help Dana Joy Joy uh, good day sir insights po kay CLCP Core and ISM please alright si ISM baka gumalaw ngayon eh. alright baka bumaba um, baka, pero I don't think the the Senate can do anything with the questions with the uh, their questioning. Everything will be um, just inquiry lang naman. How do you how will you ensure na hindi tayo mahahak ganito ganyan hindi tayo masaspy on. So most probably they have already answers for that. Uh, Katina ilong ko sorry, excuse me. Um, Dave Guapo Dadis, anong aseo, Sir Lloyd and Laika, and to my wife, God bless sir, thank you, right, good morning sa inyo, God bless din, may buntag coach Lloyd o Laika Ronulfo, Ferzas, Jomar Lim, Sir Lloyd, um, pacheck naman po ang MPI, PIP, CHP, and BDO, recommended BDO yesterday, still doing well, so kamustahin natin, umakit naman si BDO, eh. ah, Market um dropped early in the morning yes uh, on the first half pero nagrecover naman kaagad in the afternoon so that's very good Jovi L good morning Sir Lloyd IRC IDC tags pal dami ah right <laughs> pal picor PIP fan all right so let's try to uh cover all of these as much as we can all right uh, Rodrigo Carlos, good morning Sir Lloyd uh Raymond Arano good morning Fen Aba Bicor BHI and June Delihero, good morning Sir Lloyd and to your family, pacheck po ng IDC, VUL and ATN Food, right? So, you're welcome, right? Guys, so if you have any questions about PHA, kung gusto nyo po manghabulin, we're gonna be discussing about that. Post it on the comments if you have any questions. Bayang buntag Sir Lloyd, salamat sa PHA recommendation mo. Maaga akong nag-abandon ship. Oh no, the sayang naman daran, right? Um, still, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi. It's a laugh lang. You don't really know where the stock is going. I think it's still gonna go up. So, nagsisisi ako kahapon, nagsala pa ako. But at the very least, I'm still in the, ano, I'm still in the, uh, in, I'm still in the trade, right? I, I, 
the earnings is so much for me already. I only risk a little portion and I was only expecting around 50% and the trade gave me 100% more even. So I'm really happy with that with the returns already. So on the other half, um, I'm got just gonna let it ride. So, ayan, um, we'll check it out later. But then, alright, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. Check po IDC Bull, ATN Food from June De Lijero. Alright, um, congratulations, Daran. Enjoy your earnings. Alright, kahit na luma lumabas ka ng early. Alright, sayang naman. Um, I think mataas pa yan. Baka, mga, baka magsiling ulit today. Eh. Alright, now that people are now aware after two days. Pero, we can't really tell. Rodel, tingnan natin mamaya. At 9 o'clock, we'll open our, uh, open ka lang muna yung ano ko. Um, to trade account ko right so tignan natin yan mamaya si ano so here tignan natin si PHA kamustahin natin mag magkano yung opening niya um, still walang available ubus ang supply <laughs> um, let's see at, at 9 o'clock it's yan pa to lalabas eh. so there's 2 million bid at um, 90.90 kahapon so that was the ceiling price yesterday so may demand pa rin at the ceiling price Let, let's see, we'll talk more about that in a while uh, Rodel Cachelian, good morning Sir Lloyd inside kay Tech and MRC Tech is still looking good MRC, actually Tech is in my recommendations still today right here are my recommendations nga pala ilalagay ko po sa comments right so recommendations, LTG Ma picor tags and tech right so ang other stocks kasi nagpupula pa so I I usually wait for a bounce first before I wanna recommend it so right now wala pang bounce sa mga stock ito pa lang muna ang nakikita ko nagsa stabilize um ISM and PHA from Dasio Azarcon ISM and PHA yes PHA is gonna be our topic for today we'll talk about ISM also, mamaya, alright, so when the discussion starts, PHA po, pasilip, well, of course, sisilipin natin si PHA, yun po yung discussion natin ngayon. Sir Lloyd, pakibati naman, misis ko, April Arano, sa mga anak ko, si Sian and Cyril, yan, good morning sa inyo, alright. Um, Raymond, and to your family, si April, and Sian and Cyril, ayan, ang agangan yung mag-stock sa, alright. So, welcome, welcome, alright. Uh, nga pala guys, um, so please, please share this video to your Facebook walls and to your um tawag dyan, sa trading groups niyo para naman ang mga newbies um they will know that there's a program like this that can help them in their stock market journey uh, sa Facebook walls niyo uh, kasi I, I find that ang marketing kasi na effect, effect, effective sa Facebook is yung mga tao na papakita ng pera nila daming na ang daming pumapasok pag ganyan so why not let's try that um Pakita nyo po yung gains nyo kay PHA. I-post nyo po, I gained 100%. Lagay nyo po sa comment sa PHA. Para at least mahingan nyo naman sila mag-stock market. Baka pwede yon Para mas maraming taong pumasok sa stock market kaysa ins instead of other um, easy to get rich schemes dyan sa ano, nasa, nasa, nasa Facebook. Ang dami, di ba? Monet Lagman, good morning Sir Lloyd and to your family. Insights on price, action of LTG. LTG, I'm gonna be recommending that today. Uh, Picor po is still on my recommendations. Monet, getting better yung mga picks mo, right? Nagmamatch na yung mga picks natin, Monet. Getting better. Amil Angelo, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning everyone. Sherwin, good morning. Sir Tlaika, Albert Martino, somehow your message got retracted. Sorry about that. PHA, nakasalo ako. 0.75 kaapon, ceiling pa kaya or selling na. We can't really tell. We're, we're, we'll talk about that later, JM. Right? Um, so, kung sell na ba or hindi. Ido, Ido, Almo. Ido, tuloy. Akala ko idol eh. Right? Ido, Almo. Maayang buntag, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo, AT at saka Bell. Daghan salamat po. AT and Bell. Si Atlas. Um, gumagandang galaw ni Atlas lately eh. AT and Bell. Sir, kamustahin natin sila. Alright, Tyron, Javier, good morning coach. Pasuyo rin ng STI, Web, ISM, and to go, let's get rich together. Alright, so, yan, dapat may tono yan. Let's get rich together. <laughs> Improve natin, ba? Noel Taranko, ay, bumaba, bigla ang comments. Let me <laughs> go up again. This happens. At sa comments bar ko kasi bigla-bigla bumababa eh. Right? Noel Taranko, good morning coach. Um, Coach, how did you develop your confidence sa lakas ng loob mong trading, especially when it comes to momentum? Trading, um, siguro, um, very good question. How do you develop yung lakas ng loob? It's really about knowing yourself and not being greedy. Yun siguro para sa akin ang pinaka-key, right? Um, I developed my confidence kasi, uh, it's, there's a saying that says, if you don't know who you are, ano, hindi yan. If you know 
yourself and your enemy. You need not fear the result of 100 battles. Kilala ko po ang sarili ko. If I'm in this stock as an investor, if ever babagsak yan, then I won't be really afraid. If ever I'm a trader in this stock, I just strictly follow my cut loss. Ganun lang. Kasi anyways, calculated naman yung risk ko. That's part of it. If you follow your risk to reward ratio, or tinuro ko yan sa risk to reward ratio lesson natin, even if you lose in this stock, your risk to reward ratio on other stocks is gonna cover for it. So don't worry. Right? Na, tulad nito, na, laki ng panalo natin kay, uh, PH, uh, kay PHA, na covered na lahat ng losses ko. Diba? So, yun. Um, that's how to build your confidence really. Just believe in your trading system. Babawi at babawi ka naman. Kasi swerte yan ka sa ibang stocks, mamalasan ka. A good trader, they say that a good trader, if you're already good in this, you win 6 out of 10 times, right? So, if you if you follow the 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio, panalo ka pa rin. Even if you win half of the time lang, 50-50 ang panalo mo, basta yung risk to reward ratio mo, you strictly follow it, your stock, your report is still gonna be increasing. Diba? Um, yan. Um, and don't be greedy. I do, ito yung, ano, ito yung napapansin ko sa mga, uh, sa mga newbies, especially dun sa chat room natin. Yan. I find this in the chat room. Ito yung problema sa mga newbies. Nakikita kong problema talaga. Pag bumabagsak ang presyo ng isang stock or um, bumabagsak ng konti lang, nagpapanik ka agad. Right? Um, you don't, uh, pag hindi naman gumalaw, naiinip ka agad. Ang dami ko pong kasama na nasa, na nasa the billionaires club sa chat room natin na pumasok kay PHA noon and nainip, hindi daw kasi gumagalaw, lumabas. Ayan, nagsisisi tuloy. Shout out sa mga nasa chat room na nagsisi, bakit lumabas. And anyways, yeah, um, if I uh, if I find something, I see that the stock is doing well and then I decide to be an investor in it, hindi ko naman siya trade if it, even if it goes down, hindi ako matatakot. I already know the fundamentals. This is one I, another reason I, why I wanna I want you to really know a company by heart before you get in a stock, right? Know a company by heart because this um this uh increases right, your ano yan, yung tibay mo in getting into that stock. Pag bumagsak yan at hindi pa gumalaw, hindi ka maiinip, uh, hindi ka ma, matataranta, right? It 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 fuels your conviction in a stock if you know the fundamentals of a stock. Really know what you're doing and what you're getting into. That's how I build my confidence. And I don't pressure myself into earning every day. Right? Don't pressure yourself in earning every day. I know po karamihan sa inyo mga part-time traders lang. So meaning meron pa kayong pinagkakita ang iba. Don't be greedy. If, um, if ever wala kayong... Uh, wala kayong um, ibang trabaho talaga na pinagkikitaan, siguro pressure yourself in earning every day. But if ever meron naman kayong trabaho, that's, uh, at the same time, gusto nyo mag-trade. That's just being greedy and you want to earn every day. That's just being greedy, right? Just be a position trader. You don't have to pressure yourself in earning every day. Ganun po ang trading, especially in position trades. Um, so yun, that's how I build my confidence talaga. Just knowing yourself, uh, fundamentals, and Knowing the stock by heart. So, that's the, an that's the answer, Noel. Taranko. Bernadette Abio, good morning, coach. Uh, morning, Sir Lloyd. And to my f daughter, Jasmine, too. Right? Good morning sa inyo. Yan na, sir. Yan na si sir. So, Mark Morris. Good morning, idol. Hold lang po ba si PHA? Nabalik ko sa point forty. Uy, ang mura ng bili mo, Albert. Good job. Right? Napaka-mura ng bili mo. Um, that's gonna be a big win for you. So, congratulations. Um... If ever pumula ngayon, you can always sell half. I think the stock is bound to uh, pull back anytime soon. We'll discuss more about that in a while. Brianna Banana, 17 fund videos. PLC and PHR, please. Let's write this down. All right. Um, Jendi, Lawrence, go... Kyanki, right, go Kyanki, go Kyanki. Lloyd, Sir Lloyd Heaven, All right? Kamusta natin si Heaven? Uh, nasa heaven na si heaven eh, right? uh, for me it's already very overvalued so I don't really want to recommend heaven anymore ayo bumagsak ni heaven din naman so we can't deny the price action naman so we're not that ABSP po ABSP let's write this down kamusta natin si ABSP recommendation ko yan the past few days uh, kasama nila ABS alright oh, Noel Almario good morning sir ayan uh, John Cantor Meg po sir alright let's write down Meg it's 8.39. We'll start the discussion in a bit. 
Ayan. So, um, Mark Lester, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pakibati naman sa wife ko, Ems Cardose. Ayan. Um, Mark Lester is my student. And Sir, insights nyo po sa PIP, FNI. Benta na ba si FNI? Sir, dapat nung nabreak yung cut loss nyo, um, hit yung cut loss nyo, uh, dapat na benta na. So, let's check out FNI and PIP in a while. Right. So, PIP, nirecommend ko rin yan. Eh. Luchi Vasquez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Chart request po ng AP. Right, thanks. Right, AP. Boy, this power. Napakamura pa ni... Oh, hindi, maakit siya. AP eh, di ba? As far as I can remember. Joe Marlim, somehow your message got retracted. So, sorry. Um, just post it again. Mark is about to explode, guys. Bye, habang mura pa. Alright, so Albert Martino is saying about Mark. Let's check out Mark. And anyway, sabi niya, mag-explode daw. So, I think there's urgency here. Tignan natin si Mark. Uh, um, Mark. About to explode daw. Hmm, looking good. Looking good si Mark. Good good find. Um, we just bounce at the support. Kasi nga lang, ito yung problema ko eh. The, the numbers really, it's really shaky for me. I can't tell if it if it's about to explode. Um, I'm shaky about the stock. Um, third quarter earnings. Uh, second quarter is good. First quarter is negative. Annual is 819. So that was a very good annual number of Mark. This is a good find, right? Um, this is something you can you can try to tr you can test this out if you want to, right? Pa din yung po testing ito si Mark gusto niyo, right? Alright, so tignan natin yan mamaya. Um, let's more discuss more about this. I I I'm still shaky about Mark. I really don't want to <clears throat> recommend stocks na hindi ko po kilala by heart. Ilala kilala ko si Mark, but I haven't really gotten into the fundamentals of the company. That's why nagdadalaw ang isip akong i-recommend siya. But price action-wise, it's doing well. Becca Tangan, Sir Lloyd, morning chart request po. Sana MPI, ISM. Uh, MPI, ISM, IMI, yung training po sa Feb 2. Ano nga po uh, mga topics and pwede advanced reading. Right, meron akong mga ibibigay sa inyo na mga videos para po to prepare yourselves for the seminar on February 2. Guys, Less than, <laughs> na nasa 15 na lang siguro available na seats. Uh, in the afternoon na lang, puno na ang morning. So, afternoon seats na lang. Huwag niyo po sasayangin. Napakaganda po ng seminar na yan. Alright, um, shout out sa mga students ko. Please let them know how good the seminar is. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, preparation, profiling, technical analysis. Yun po yung isa sa puso ng uh, discussion natin, technical analysis and execution, most especially execution. Ito yung discarte, how to get in, how to get out stocks, right? Huwag niyo po sasayangin niyo pong uh, opportunity yan, opportunity na yan, 1,500 lang po ang uh, ang tawag dyan, um, ang ang seminar, right? Sagot po ni Itoro yan, right? I tell you guys, ang entrance per head is na around 2,000, yun po yung binayaran ni Itoro, and then you're just gonna pay uh, 1,500. So, napaka- Uh, napakaganda po ng opportunity na yan for you. So, huwag niyo po sasayangin. Sa mga hindi pa marunong mag-trade in Manila, right, February 2, there's still 15 slots available na lang. So, send me. Uh, mayroon akong link dun sa Facebook natin, page ko, and then sa Billionaires Club. Right, so, please go to that. This weekend, February, uh, no, January 25 and 26, right, we're gonna be, uh, there's an online seminar. Sa mga wala sa Manila naman, may, may online option kayo. Uh, this um, Friday and Saturday. Please join that. Um, send me a message if you want to join that. February 15, Dubai. February 16, Abu Dhabi. February 22, Qatar po tayo. Send me a message so that I can give you the details of the seminar. I'll see you there. Right? So mga uh, viewers natin and mga traders dyan sa, uh, sa UAE and Qatar. Send me a message so that you can join. Right? Abner, especially you, Coach Lloyd. Good morning. Insights po kay Aba, Alco, Ali, BHI, Bloom, IRC. Alright, I'll write these down. Um, si Aba, nag-bounce kahapon eh. Alright, ang ganda ng bounce ni Aba kahapon. Last lang, si Roland Hamela. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Bicor XCHP po. And Rainer, Juliasa. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights kay MPI. MPI is still okay, right? I'm... I'm In MPI, nakita nyo naman yung port ko, may MPI ako. But I'm, because I'm into MPI for long term. I don't really care of the movement of MPI. Pag bumaba yan, I'm just gonna be buying more. Alright, so, um, topic natin ngayon, si PHA. Ayan, si PHA, if you just, uh, uh, you can go to edge.pse.com, right, para makita nyo po yung, um, 
uh, disclosure niya. Right? So, my edge isn't working again. I don't really know back it. Right? Edge.psc.com.ph And, ayaw mag-load. Right? So, mga pala guys, check out eToro at eToro. Um, dot com. Uh, please use my link uh, if you want to create an eToro account. Napaganda po if you want to ins- invest in the foreign market also. Um, may, uh, y- you can use eToro. Uh, ayo gumawa na ng edge ko. I don't know why. I always have this problem. Not really sure what the problem is. Is it is it edge or is it my computer? But I get issues kay edge. But yeah. Uh, just to summarize the uh. Yung nangyari kay PHA, ganito po. Uh, meron pong nag-invest sa kanila. Doesn't really matter kung sino, nakalimutan kong pangalan. I already checked them out. They're, they're legit. Yan. So, yan. Um, Asa na yan? So, ang nag-invest sa kanila is, yan, nag-load na si Edge. Right, PHA. Ayaw pa rin. There's still problem with my edge, PHA. I'll try my Chrome. Ayaw din. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ewan ko bakit. Anong problema dyan? But yeah, the disclosure says, yan, um, si Zazad Ahmad Mughal, um, yun yung ano, yun yung nagbigay ng 15 billion pesos worth kay PHA. And then there's this, etong ano, um, merong uh, lumabas, right? Research um, from other groups. I was looking at it. And, ayun, um, the 15 billion is um, more or less, <laughs> around uh, 5 pesos po ang magiging value ni PHA. Right? Um, that's 20,000 worth, uh, 20 times worth their current value. That's why napakagrabe po ng pwedeng iakyat ni PHA. So here, um, this is short takes from uh, other groups and nakuha ko po ito. Um, 20 billion, ito yung um, ito yung marang key takes. Uh, foreign can only own up to 40% of real estate company like PHA but various corporation structures can be used to allow SAMA to get 60% without violating Philippine laws. Right? The, P, the PH 15 billion is close to 20 times. I hope you can see that. I want to sh- zoom in on this even more. Sadly, I cannot. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so 15 billion is close to 20 times the stock market capitalization and about 15 times, right? PHA's equity at the end of third quarter 2018, right? It, wa- it would appear to be too much leverage for a small company being given that loan is convertible. Accounting rules would probably result in PHA splitting 15 billion into both equity and debt. Since PHA has almost 2 billion shares outstanding, the management said that there are no current plans to raise equity. The company has issue has to issue three billion more shares to give Sama sixty percent equity. Dividing the fifteen billion convertible loan by three billion shares would imply a conversion price around five pesos. So around five pesos po si PHA with that fifteen billion. This is way above the stock's last close, which is point forty. Ngayon nasa point ninety na po tayo and uh, punters are likely to be ready when trading resume today. Right, yun yung nangyari. Um, nagsiling ng dalawang araw after that. To be clear, however, PHP, ito, magandang point ito. PHP, 5 pesos is not a lock. Even management says it's, uh, says a lot of details have to be ironed out between now and 2021. On In either, in, um, in other words, the final conversion price may be lower, may be lower. But could also be higher, could also be higher than 5 pesos. On the other hand, those who are looking to trade the stock will have to take into account that the conversion won't happen for at least two more years in PHA. Will, uh, PHA will probably be volatile over this period. Our final word, therefore, is trade carefully, uh, significant digits. Uh, hindi ko na discuss yan. It's not really related. So, sorry. Yan. So, 
that is PHA's changes. 5 pesos. We're looking to 5 pesos, di ba? Same with ATN. We were looking at around 8 pesos ka ATN. So with that projection, I would say, uh, PHA, let me get the PHA's chart. I would say, PHA over the coming years, siguro by average, ang pinaka-feasible natin is 3 pesos. Right? Around 3 pesos pa yan, which is napakalayo pa niyan. Right? So... So, you are in for a good ride. I'd say yes, invest in this stock. And the keyword is invest. So, it's a buy, pero buy as an investor, right? You will be looking to reach around 3 to 5 pesos in the coming days. At least, um, ano lang yan, 5 pesos ang projection nila, but to be realist realistic, let's, let's go for 3 pesos. That's uh, Current price is 90 centavos, so malayo-layo pa rin po yang 3 pesos. But, Keyword is investor entry. If you enter today, it might go down right anytime soon. So if it goes down, I will recommend just buy more. Right? Pwede kayong humabol kasi baka umakyat, umakyat, umakyat. Pero wag po kayong mag all in please if gusto niyo pong humabol. Today, I think it's not gonna be a ceiling today. Um, baka ang presyo niya will be around... 20% lang siguro because this is too much of a momentum. Usually, magda-die down yan. I, it would be very beneficial if it pulls back. Kasi pag nag-pull back yan, I tell you guys, papasok ako, nagbenta ako ng kalahati kapon at around 0.80, uh, 80 ba siguro yun? At nagsisi naman ako at nagsiling siya ulit. <laughs> but still, anyways, gain is gain. I'm really happy with my gains. Um, PHA, I'd say it's a buy. Um, Best entry, if you want to get in as a trader lang naman and as a position trader, don't get in here. Right? Wait for it to do a pullback. Kahapon ng pullback siya sa 0.75. That was a very good pullback. And if you see the intraday, let's look at the intraday chart. Meron naman tayong entry signals na pinapakita dyan before um, before siya umakyat. Eh, can't really, chart is really hard to depict. Right? And so, kahapon, there it is. We have an engulfing pattern right here. This was a good entry point signal, engulfing pattern. Meron yan. And here, meron tayong support. So, those are good entries. Those are good pullbacks. It opened here. Masyado ma malakas. Uh, engulfing pattern here. Another engulfing pattern here. Same guys, yung tinuro ko po sa inyo ng mga technical analysis. Pababa ang presyo. RSI was going up. This was a very healthy bottom that would have been a good entry point to get into. You can look for this intraday. Baka within intraday lang siya mag pull back considering the 5 peso projection niya. I'd say it's a buy. It's a buy. But be very careful with your strategy. Right? Some of you might apply momentum trading. If you try to ride the momentum, like for example, Bollinger Band ang i-entry nyo. Momentum trade entries po kayo baka wala po kayong base. Use the MA20 as your support. Pag nag-break below MA20 ng 3%, you can sell already. For That's for momentum entries. right? The best, especially for newbies, pa kung maingit man kayo, just get in, just do a test buy. If it case, it goes down. Just uh, just buy more. I'd say buy more. Because it's gonna this stock is going to be very volatile until 2022. Right? So, aakit at aakit yan. So, this is already good for PHA. So that's one uh, that's the sec two types of entries I want you to get uh, I want you to apply. I don't recommend doing intraday dito kung hindi pa kay marunong, but there is very good potential for intraday trading. Grabe, intraday trading, mga nag-intraday, mga newbies ka po nag uh, using the strategy, guman oh, the gain kaagad in just <laughs> within the day 19% kaagad. That's still that's still substantial for intraday trading. There is opportunity in intraday trading for volatile stocks. B PHA is going to be very volatile today. Pag bumagsak ito, baka mag-waterfall, apply the waterfall strategy for intraday. But again, only do it if you know what you're doing. If hindi nyo po alam anong ginagawa nyo and gusto nyo po mag-invest kay PHA, um, it's still good. Right? Napakamura pa rin PHA as of the moment. Look at that. Napakalayo pa ng 3 piso. So, 3 piso lang yan. Ha? That's very... Uh, that's that's a very conservative projection from me considering that people are um, waiting for it for ayo uh, nawala ah wait nag-error ang <laughs> nag-error ang chart dahil kay PHA but anyways I'll will we'll just load that up again so that's for PHA yun po yung recommendation ko 
na ano na na entry jan. If ever pumasok man kayo, make sure you enter as an investor. Get ready na maipit. Right? If investor kayo, just do test buy. If ever bumagsak, you just buy more. Baka maipit kayo. Baka there's a big chance na mag-pull back yan. Kasi sobrang lakas ng momentum. It takes time. Ito guys, it takes time for a stock to move from this price to, to 3 pesos. Uh, minsan lang nangyayari yon kay Heaven. So, si Heaven, nag-Heaven ka agad. So, swerte na nun. Um, it might happen again. We can't really tell. But because that happens very rarely, don't count on that. Excuse me. So yeah, be prepare to be an investor if gusto niyo pong humabol dyan, right? Um, unless you know how to intraday trade, pwede niyo pong pasukin yan. Sir, pag engulfing pattern ba, dapat may volume. I don't really follow volume when it comes to engulfing pattern. I follow RSI much more. Um, 0.45 pesos and entry for PHA. Um, 0.5 then full back yari na right albert uh this is from albert yun yung concern niya baka mag pull back yes that's really possible so but considering the projection baka hindi rin mag pull back that's a problem right there um ito ha let me just refresh my pha chart kasi nagloko na siya so sobrang ha taas na right <laughs> so pha yan hindi niyo makita so this is the dilemma right here right it's 8.55 Ang problema nito is, uh, you can, uh, uh, there are what ifs eh. We don't really know what is gonna happen considering that we're projecting at, at point uh, at 3 pesos to 5 pesos. So, there are two scenarios. Number one, baka magtuloy-tuloy. If that happens, pag magtuloy-tuloy, because you're conservative, you won't be able to take advantage of the of the gain. Right? If you want to take advantage of the gain. Right? So, that's the one, what if. Pag nagtuloy-tuloy, Hindi kayo makakapasok. So, that's bad. Right? Pero, pag pasok nyo, the, another scenario is, what if mag-pull back? Right? What if mag-pull back? Totoo yan. Magpo-pull back yan. May ipit kayo. You're afraid of that. So, if ever, hindi ka pumasok at nag-pull back, that's good. Antayin mo sa bounce. So, that's the second scenario. The thing is, what strategy are we gonna apply? If gusto nyo pong pumasok kay PHA, right? Um, I'm saying yes, it's a buy. So, if gusto nyo pong pumasok, the thing is, kung ayaw nyo pong pasukin dyan kasi natatakot kayo, baka lumipad at lumipad tulad ni Heaven, wala kayo, right? Um, naiwan kayo. Now, that's why I want you to test buy if you want to get in as an investor. Test buy at this area. So, if it, in case, goes further up, then at least you will be gaining. If it goes further down, strongly recommend averaging down there's no problem in averaging down because you know this stock is gonna be on an uptrend and lay up on three three pesos this will rest and then it will just go back up sa tatlong piso yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo look like atn it's just gonna go back up so at least man kung mag test buy man kayo dito if it goes up you're gonna be gaining if it goes down may pera pa kayo to uh to average down Right. Still, that's a good strat that's the best strategy you can apply in this. Kasi if you want to get in PHA, I tell you guys napakaganda po ng PHA. Hindi lang po 'yan ang iisipin niyo, yung 15 billion na pinasok sa kanila. The current projects of PHA, pasok na sila sa build 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 tapos mag mag aano pa sila, papasok pa sila sa uh, real estate nila. They're going to be expanding their real estate projects, so that's going to be very good in the future. So, I would say PHA is good. To get into as an investor. If you're looking for quick buck, mahirap na ito, right? Wag nyo pong papasukin kung position trader kayo. Never get in as a position trader here kasi out of position ito. Just wait for it to pull, pull, pull back and bounce before you wanna get in for position traders mga hindi pa nakapasok, right? So, delikado. You have to decide by heart. You have to know this fully by heart. If papasok kayo dyan sa taas, be ready to be an investor. Dapat solid ang loob nyo pag bumagsak yan. You don't have to worry because you know this is this stock is gonna recover, right? So today, tignan natin, pag 9 o'clock, tignan natin ano mangyayari. Um, I have a video about, I really don't wanna recommend for you to get in in the opening anymore kasi sobrang taas na nito. Um, just wait for the amateur hour to pass by and then wait for the intraday na makita nyo po yung intraday, yung pinakita ko po sa inyo kanina. Yung intraday na nangyayari kanina which was 
around this level right here, we have a divergence. Pag may nakita kayong divergence intraday, that is when you get in this stock. So, yun. Do you have if you have any questions kay PHA, please post it in the comments. I'll I'll we'll discuss about that before we go to the recommendations. Uh uh FLI ba winning the BI um 0.45 pesos entry for PHA. Parang same lang PLC nung 2014 ceiling place. Um yes, sir. Pag engulfing pattern ba dapat may volume. Maraming salamat po talaga Sir Lloyd sa learnings kaya ako nakakuha ko ng PHA ng mababa 0.35 to and 0.38 tapos nag-add pa ako kahapon ng Conte a meal. Alright, um, Sir Lloyd, how about MPI? Please, we'll talk about that. Sir, for long term, which do you prefer, ISM or PHA? ISM or PHA? I'd go for ISM. Right? Um, uh, ang PHA kasi real estate lang project nila. Yes, it's big, but I don't really recommend it for long term. Right? For long term, definitely ISM. Kasi hindi lang sila nasa just the telco. Just think about the telco. The telco is gonna be very big, and ang kagandahan ng telco kasi is part of the fundamentals is superior stocks and services. Diba? Tinuro ko sa inyo yan. Si Telco, ang problema sa real estate is, kung saan yung business mo tinayo, yun lang ang service mo na area. Ang kagandahan sa Telco, it's, it's nationwide. Lahat ng Pilipino pwede nilang maging potential client. So that's very big. Napakalaki po niyan. So I'd say, I'd go for ISM. Better. Kaya po, mas majority of my money is into ISM also still. Right, sir, sa position trade po ba? Anong time frame bago po um, um, sukuan ang isang stock, pasukin? Um, I use the one-day chart. One-day chart po yung ginagamit ko for, uh, for, for day trading. Right? I mean, so for, for position trading. Projected price and news on my channel. This is from PSE Warzone. Nagla-live po siya. Right, Alberto Martino. Sir Lloyd, good morning. May seminar online po kayo. Thanks. Yes, meron ako this weekend. Right, so, tignan ko lang, sir. Try mo gumamit na ibang web browser like Brave or Opera. Medyo down ngayon ang Chrome. Oo nga eh. Right, thank you for that. Ryan, 110 down. Um, pull back, pull back. Right, so let's check out it. It's already 901. So, tignan na natin ngayon si projected price ni ISM. Where is that? May, bin may binuksan ako kanina eh. Right, to trade Asia. Projected price is 110. Right, so that's good. That's still okay. As an opening, may mga nagbibid at 1.35. Projected price is 110. That's still a lot. Um, today, uh, the ceiling is... Uh, no, not 0.99. Right, so... Previous is 0.90. So, kung 0.90, 90, a half ng 90 is uh, 45. So, dapat ang, uh, ang ceiling nito ngayon is 1.35. Ceiling pala kaagad siya. Right? So, 1.35. It's ceiling again. May nagbibid na sa ceiling. 1.35 ang opening. Right? So, people are selling. May nagbuhos at 0.45. I'm not really sure what's wrong with this person. May, nag, may nagbenta at 0.45. 262,000. So, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna be re-login. Re-logging in. Right? So, here. Um, stock. PHA. Right? So, PHA. 1. Uh, 1.35. 10 ang projected niya. Kanina is 1.35 pero may, may nagbuhos eh. I don't know who this guy is. Um, paano nga, paano ko maba malalaman yan? <laughs> Buyers and sellers. Right. So, tignan natin si sellers. Hindi nag, ano, may nagbuhos. Right. So, may nagbubuhos. So, 110 na lang projected price natin. Uh, meron na nagbebenta at 0.88. So, someone are, some people are taking profits. Why would they sell if they know that the pri there are people buying very big volume at 1.35? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go ceiling with this momentum today. So, there were many buying at 3.77, but at least at the very least, hindi po siya bababa ng 0.90. Uh, so, 3 million ang buying sa 0.90. Eh. So, I'd trust this more. So, you don't have to be aggressive today. Nag fake bid sila. Um, yeah, I think nag fake bid lang ito. <laughs> I am not really sure why he would sell it like this. So, ayan, 110 na ulit, right? So, yeah, panakot lang yan. Gusto nila pababain. So, yun, um, very good. Um, so, that's PHA. 1.0 ang opening. So, it's not gonna be very big today. So, this is good because I'm waiting for a position to buy more. Pag mag-pullback ito, I'm expecting a pullback anytime soon. So, I hope mag-pullback si PHA. So, guys, this is good for you. Sa mga gustong mag, uh, sa mga gustong pumasok ka PHA, wait for the pullback. Huwag nyo na pong hahabulin sa taas. Wala pong maghahabol. 
tingnan nyo po within the day kung meron siyang bottom, pwede nyo pong pasukin. Right? Um, tinuro ko naman sa inyo paano mag-spot ng bottom, doon nyo po pasukin. Pag may nakita kayong divergence, right? that will be a very good sign na nag-bottom na before you wanna get in. Right? So, yan. Um, the next natin pag-usapan yung Senate hearing. Right? Uh, for ISM, asa na ako? Let me close this one out. So, um, let me go to my chart. Asan yung chart ko? Nawala na naman. Ayan. Chart, chart, chart. Ayan. So, let's go for charts. So, ISM. So, kamustahin natin si ISM. It, the 6.03 is sustaining. <clears throat> good price action. Um, na mas mataas yung buying sa kanya. So, this is good. Meron lang concern na mga, sa mga tao kay ISM na may Senate hearing daw ngayon. Baka, baka matamaan si Dennis Uy dito and baka may masabi na mali. Right? I don't think so. Um, so far, so good. These guys are always come in very prepared. This is what I like about uh, Dennis Uy. They come in prepared. Right? Nakita niyo naman doon sa bidding. So most probably, they have already prepared for the Senate hearing. Whatever the question is, trust me po. Nasagot na yan ng mga tao. Right? Even, uh, nas, uh, alam na nila ang sagot. Alam na nila ang possible questions dyan. Napaghandaan na po nila yung sagot dyan. Right? I will... Um, Mawawala ang bilib ko sa kanila kung hindi nila masasagot yan. But anyways, I think they've already they've already prepared for that. So that's not gonna be a problem. People are gonna be scared. Meron siguro mga magbebenta, but those are for the, the short-term players, right? Um, yeah, Dom Toretto, Toretto, yes, for sure may pullback si PHA, right? So, um major shake and bake today sa ISM. Yan, um, sa mga short-term traders, yung mga short-term lang naman na traders, yes, there might be something mag-shake ito. But again, guys, I'm recommending you guys ISM for long-term. Uh, don't concern yourselves on the short-term movements. Kasi short-term thinking yan, short-term trading yan. Right? We are, I am recommending ISM for long-term. If it goes down today, may pera na po ako nakuha dahil sa, sa PHA. Pwede, pwede ko po i-average down dyan. So, I'm just gonna be averaging down. Hindi po ako matatakot. Napaganda po ng pinaghandaan nila yan. Right? Um, so, yun. Um, where to buy ISM? Adrian Obed's question. ASM, ISM? If it goes down, further down today, then that's good. Pag nag-green yan today, mag-test buy ka na. Right? Uh, test buy nyo na. Right? If you have 100k there, Lagyan niyo po ng 30,000 yan dito. 30K lang po. Right? Just in case it makes an uptrend and then makes a higher low, then this is where you buy more on the bounce. Right? If, bakit 30K lang? So that if ever it goes down, and then we, we just buy more here. At the very least, you're already in the trade. So that's to answer Adrian Obed's question. Wait for the bounce today. If ever mag-bounce yan, um, pwede, mong, pwede ka na mag-test buy. Right? Pwede ka mag-test buy already. Because we don't really know if it's gonna go down further. We don't really know if it's gonna go up. Right? Malapit na po on January 21. What if maganda ang kinalabasan at masagot nila ng maayos ang Senate hearing ngayon and they decide, Senate decides na okay na. It's a go. Lilipad yan. So, if it goes green today, you just do test buy. Ganun lang. Right? So, those are my recommendations for ISM and PHA. We'll now go to my recommendations for today. Um. Uh, may question, James Andrew Santiago, sir, yung nag-ask sa uh, 0.45 mag-sell yan sa opening. If ever hindi niya i-cancel, yes, masasell yan. Um, about SMP CPIP, anong oras po ang hearing? Uh, 1 peso projected opening sa PHA at 907. Alright, so 1 peso na. So, yeah, it's not gonna be very uh, it's not gonna go very high today. So, delikado yung mga pumasok kahapon sa ceiling. So, konting ingat. Right? It might pull back today. It's bound to pull back anytime soon. Right? So, pag nag-pull back yan today, then that is when you get in po. Right? So, antayin nyo po yung pull back. Right? One moment, please. Meron lang akong request to. Right? So, Yan. Um, so let's continue. LTG. These are my picks for today. Let me post this again sa um, comment section. And si LTG. Kamustahin natin si LTG. LTG. I'm gonna go full screen on my chart. Let me load my uh, let me load my ano. 
Let me load my chart layout. And let's go back to LTG. Alright, so LTG. I'm recommending LTG today. Why? Because we have an engulfing pattern kay LTG. Uh, engulfing candlestick pattern. Overall, napakamura ulit ni LTG. Alright, we still have... Yeah, well, we have a support right here. This is a support that's formed. Downtrend nga lang si LTG. So, you, you be careful po. Just wait for today. If ever mag-green ulit yan, that will be your confirmation to get in LTG. But it is looking good already. Overall, LTG is still very cheap. So, uh, that's why I'm recommending LTG. Next up is MA. Right? We have two green candlesticks already that just confirmed the support. So, I'd say MA is good to buy today. Right? Baka mag-ulit ulit ito. It's already uh, playing at uh, the upside of the chart. So, baka umakyat ulit si Ma. Right? Picor. These are for trading guys. Ha? Hindi to for long term. So, if in case this fails, you can always get out. Right? Lumabas po kayo. So, Picor. Yan. Nagsisimula na po umakyat si Picor. Right? And that's a bounce. That's a higher low bounce. That's a higher high. So, no. Not a higher high. That's already a good, uh, good climb of the price right there. So, Picor is still okay. Overall, napakaliit pa rin po ng risk ni Picor. Right? Second, first, first support is 0.66. Secondary support is 1.90% away from support lang. So, napaka ganda po ng risk to reward ratio ni Picor. Hindi po siya risk to reward ratio. Meron po tayong mag, um, parang resistance dito. But overall, the volume is doing well. Look at this. Right here. Ganda na ng volume. That's accumulation signal. Meaning, ang dami na po nag-iipon ng Picor. Right? Marami na pong bumibili kay Picor. So, yun. Um, right. So, Alvin, 9.15, 9.20 a.m. Diyan sa totoong bid and ask. Right. So, let's... Uh, let me try to open my 2-trade. Right. Kamusta yun? Si, si, yan. 0.91 na lang ang projected opening. So, yun. Um, I don't think it's gonna be ceiling today. So... We can't tell. We can't really tell. Baka magsiling mamaya ulit. Mag, mag momentum yan. Maingit na naman ang mga tao. Tapos biglang lumipad yan. We can't really tell. But at least it's a healthier opening now. 0.91. So, makikita natin. Marami na pong... Um, yan. Marami na pong healthy... Oops, sorry. Marami na pong healthy bids na to ngayon. So, this is better movement for PHA at the very least. Right? So let's let me go back to the chart. Um, Picor, yan recommendation ko today si Picor. Next is Tugs, right? so guys. Si Tugs at long araw na na nag sa support, right? So this is good price action for Tugs. Volume starting to pick up. So this is a good support for Tugs, right? Uh, ang ganda na support nito for Tugs. This is a good support level. Um, I'd say I recommend Tugs. Ganda po na future ng Tugs. This is a very good company. That's a good entry point for. Tags. Thank you. We'll buy Picor po. Praise the, praise the Lloyd. <laughs> si Alvin Rodriguez. Natawa ako dyan ha. Right. Ang laki ng hatak ng 0.45 bid sa uh, 0.91 na, na lang. Hi sir. Okay lang ba sa kay sa PHA? Antay nyo po ang pullback as much as possible. Right. The pullback is gonna be the best entry point. If ever gusto nyo pumasok ngayon, tingnan nyo po within the day and then make sure you have uh, you enter with the consideration of becoming an investor kasi medyo mataas-taas na po yan. Right, so next up is tags kay kay tags kay te is tech, right? Tech naman, right? So tech is holding on to that support. Uh, meron ta lang tayong napaka-solid na resistance. So I'd recommend tech if ever it breaks out, pag nag-break out 'yan, that will be a good entry point kay tech today, right? Uh, the support though is still also okay. You can either get in the support if hindi kayo makapasok sa support area na ito. Ang ganda na support na yan. Then, just do a breakout strategy. Napakamura na po ni Tech. Tech has been very consistent this year. Uh, plus 207%. Plus uh, cash dividend yan. Plus 86% second quarter. Plus 14% sa first quarter. So, Tech has been consistent this year. So, this is gonna be very good annual report for Tech. So, lilipad yan for the, for the, uh, when the annual report comes. Uy, may nag-ano po. Um, thank you so much, Alvin Rodriguez for the super chat for the donation po. Nga pala guys, if you want to consider helping the channel. Um, 
Itong program po in it, ito is free. And sarili ko pong pera ang ginagastos ko po dito. So, if you like my contents and gusto niyo po yung mga discussions at nagigain naman po kayo, if you can consider donating to the channel, that will greatly help uh, the channel, the, the program, the daily program that we have also. And so, yan, um, please consider con um, helping the channel. That will greatly, uh, that will be greatly appreciated. Right. Hi, sir. We'll, we'll bring our laptop some workshop on Fed2. Yes, you can. You, you don't have to. But as much as possible kasi I use it. I This is paperless environment. But if you want to, yes, you can do that. Um, Bloom. We'll watch Bloom to bounce at MA20. Actually, I recommended Bloom yesterday. Um, yan, si Bloom, MA20 bounce na kay Apple, nas, nag um, At least nag-sustain yung MA20. So wait, just wait for the bounce kay Bloom. Right? Um... Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa mentor po, Lloyd. Good din po ba to buy MP and GT cap? Um, thank you more po, Power. Boss projected opening ng PAL annual income report deadline today at GDP. Right. So, um, tignan daw natin, oy, 0.95 ang opening. That's still good. Uh, nawala yung nag-bid. Nagbenta kanina. So, umakyat na. Right. So, people are selling at the 0.95. So, I'm expecting for this to pull back today, hindi gaano malakas ang galaw niya so at least may kalahati pa ako that's the beauty of selling half, right? I already sold half yesterday, so relax na ako ngayon, if it pulls back, then I'm just gonna buy more when it at MA20 or saan yung pullback niya and bounce, right? So, PAL, may question about PAL, kung ano yung projected opening, 12.20 oh, 12.74 ang projected opening ni PAL, so 0% so at least, ganun pa rin um, tingnan nga natin kung ano ang research ni PAL uh, research kay PAL um, yung average niya uh, wala tayong rate uh, wala tayong ano wala tayong wala tayong research for PAL dito anyways let's go back to the chart 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 yan so yan um request ng mga tao ngayon. Number one, si IRC. Kahapon, nirecommend ko si IRC because of the three white soldiers. So far, so good. Ayan. So, IRC guys. So, pwede pang habulin if you want to. Right? So, sayang naman. Ang ganda na ng volume. Volume starting to go up. Not really that much of a volume. But this is good signal right here na hindi po siya babagsak. This is uh, three white soldiers. Naging four white soldiers na. Right? So, this is good for IRC. So, I guess this support is gonna sustain. Um, get in near the support as much as you can. Uh, try to bargain within the day. But IRC is still looking good. I won't, I won't recommend IRC already. Kahapon po yan recommend CLI. Alright. So, CLI naman. Alright. So, CLI, good bounce at MA20. So, this is good for CLI. I already read, did recommend CLI. Uh, sabi ko po sa inyo, di ba, magbodega. And there it is. Uptrend na si CLI. So, let's wait for it to... Ah, andyan na tayo sa uptrend line niya. So, this is a buy already. I already recommended CLI. Was that yesterday or a day ago, right? Uh, two days ago. I think that the day before yesterday, yan, I recommended CLI because of the MA20 bonds for CLI. Uptrend na po yan si CLA, so that's still very good. Um, next naman si MPI. MPI. Alright, kumustay natin si MPI. Ayun, I'm waiting for this MA20. Alright, antay na natin bounce ni MPI before we wanna recommend MPI. Again, we did recommend MPI at this level. Actually, dito pa eh. Alright, so here... Um, umakit na si MPI. That's normal movement. Let's just wait for it to bounce before we wanna get in MPI. I thought this was a good bounce already. Somehow it failed. So, um, ayun. That's the, that's the market. Actually, kaya ito nagpupula kasi the worldwide market is pula. Nga pala guys, worldwide market has bounced, right? So, most probably PICI is gonna be looking good today. Um, so, expect a bounce today. Pag nag-bounce yan si MPI, pwede nyo end of the day, pwede nyo pasukin yan si MPI. Next request is FEN. Ito si FEN. Maraming nag-aabang kay FEN. Maraming kasi naipit. Alright, so FEN naman. Alright, MA20 bounce for FEN. So, this is good for FEN. Alright. Um, binili sila, sila ni Ayala so that's gonna be very good if you wanna get in Finn I don't think it's gonna be good to get in Finn um, Bollinger Band is telling me na magsa sideways siya so I want I think this is gonna be ang ganda rin ng volume ng bounce niya eh. so yeah you can enter this you can you can enter this this is good the stock is on an uptrend um, so more or less pwede nyo po itesting to I'm just shaky about this uh, it broke ME20, it broke its uptrend, so I think this is gonna go sideways for a bit, si Fen, before really moving, so 
I want it to stabilize first before I want to get in fin, right? Um, masyado mataas din yung last na movement niya. So, yan, uh, I think fin is gonna go sideways for the meantime. Um, especially that uh, wala pa tayo ta- attention diyan, wala pa attention na naman ng mga tao. Um, Seb Seb naman, ang ganda ng projection is a very good volume yesterday. Uh, we talked about this. Ito guys, uh, this is one of the reasons why I want you to go to uh, let, me, let me open my call financial again. Alright, so here, I think that was, that's, that, that, that was in their daily notes. Um, JGS, FLI, Philinvest, no. Others, no, that's not it. Uh, let me go to the tech spotlight. Uh, I forgot saan ko nabasa yan, but they recommended CEB because na ang presyo ng gasolina nag-down. So, ang, ang earnings ni CEB lalakas. And this is the reason why CEB is getting volume. We are already out of position, right? I still remember we recommended CEB at around this area when this divergence happened, right? So, napakaganda po ni CEB right now. So, it's still on a good uptrend. Um, antay niyo lang po yung retracement before you wanna get in CEB, right? So, it's 9.20. Bilisan ko lang po ito. Um, CLC, hindi ko po muna babasahin ang mga comments. Uh, MRCX po, pasuyo, ipit port ko ngayon, right? SSI sir, mag, may ihabol. Si SSI, antayin nyo lang po yung bounce. Malapit na sa support si SSRB ko, sir. Si Cole Reco, yan, Seb, if I'm right. Yes, that is correct. Si Cole po ang nag-recommend kay CEB. That's, what, that's why I was looking for, uh, sa, saan ko nabasa yung recommendation ng Cole? Nakalimutan ko saan. But yeah, that's where I found it. Uh, that's why I still have research other, uh, other what do you call this, other uh, platforms, right? Hindi ko pa rin ma- ma-close si Call Financial ko. That's why their call is call is there. The, their research is helping me. At the same time, helping you guys. Nakita nyo naman, pinupost ko rin sa Billionaires Club if ever meron sila mga fundamentals na updates. Next is, um, saan na ako? P-Core, CLC, uh, CEB, CLC. Si CLC naman, um, let's just wait for a bounce. Anyway, CLC is, I will recommend CLC for long term. For short term, wala pa tayong entry point for CLC. So, iwas lang muna. P-Core, uh, we talked about PCOR already. It's in my recommendation for today. ISM, MPI, antay lang ng bounce, PIP, ito si PIP. Kamustahin natin si PIP. Yan, si PIP, already the volume is there. Um, get in near this support as much as possible. So, PIP, uh, get in there hidito as much as you can kay PIP. Nag-accumulate na yan. So, most probably, the PIP has bottomed out already. Pwede na umakyat yan anytime soon. Hindi nga lang natin alam kung kailan. Si CHP naman, um, uh, what do you call this? Call has been re- um, aggressive about, ano, ang tawa ko eh, kasi, um, Call is recommending cement, um, the, si La Traders Apprentice Philippines, they are against cement, so, I don't know who you are gonna get into, but price action wise, uh, Semex is doing well, so I really wait for I really want to wait for Semex to go near this uptrend line before I wanna recommend it. So, medyo aggressive pang entry natin yung kay CHP papasukin natin yan. So I don't wanna recommend CHP yet. Si BDO naman I recommended it yesterday. Ayan, umakit na si BDO. Hopefully, mag sustain na yung breakout this time. Unang breakout niya nag fail. So hopefully, mag breakout na yan. I don't wanna recommend it today. Let's just wait for it to break out before you wanna get in BDO. Alright, so IRC, we talked about that already. IDC, mm, IDC naman. Mm. IDC somehow is failing the MA20. So, I guess IDC is gonna be sideways. So, get in near this support as much as you can. May nakikita po kayong support dyan. So, that's the support that we we wanna get into. Sorry, bakit tagilid lagi ang linya ko? Ayan. So, that's the support. Get in near that support as much as you can for IDC if you want to get in. Um, anyways, IDC is a good company. So, there it is. Um, next guy, IDC is Tugs. I recommended Tugs today. Si Pal naman. Antayin nyo po yung pullback ni Pal. Picor is... Picor is... Um, yeah, we recommended... I'm recommending Picor today. PIP, Fen. And si Fen, we talked about that. IDC, Vulcan. Ito si Vulcan. Kasama to today so, Vulcan has already showed us a good support right here. So, get in near near the support as much as you can kay Vulcan. Kasama si Vulcan sa Senate hearing ngayon eh. Katulong sila ni Dennis Uy. So, 
Yan. So, Vulcan is looking good. ATN. Ito si ATN. nag back yesterday. So, this is a good opportunity for ATN. Antayin nyo lang po yung bounce ni ATN before you wanna get in ATN. ATN is a good company, mind you. Um, ATN, nare-recommend ko po yan for long term, right? So, people were asking me, ano po mare-recommend mo, Sir Lloyd, na mura pa na stock na for long term? Definitely, ATN and ISM. If ever, everything starts kay ISM na. Right, si food naman, broke MA20, so I don't want to recommend food yet. So, iwas lang muna. Right, mataas na kasi masyado si food eh. We're already near resistance. That's one, yun yung explain ko sa inyo. That's one of the reasons why I don't want to recommend food anymore. It's already at its high levels, right? So, uh, delikado na. It's 9.24. Um, next is ISM PHA 80. Ito si Atlas. Uh, let me remove this. 80. Atlas Consolidated Mining. Bollinger Band trigger, wait for it to do a retracement and bounce. Ayan, makita nyo naman. This is why I love MA20. Kita nyo saan nagbabounce ang stock. So, antayin nyo lang po sa MA20C si Atlas, right? So, next up is Bell. Ito si Bell. May nagtatanong about Bell. Doing a pullback, you know where to wait for it. MA20, MA20. Let's wait for it to bounce at MA20 and see if it sustains. <sighs> Para po may base po kayo. Just in case it fails, you can always cut loss below MA20. Anong sayo, Sir Lloyd, for long-term trade po ba si LTG and MA? Um, LTG, uh, I haven't seen very good numbers for them yet, so I can't recommend long-term. So, short-term lang na trading yan. But these are good companies, right? So, I won't recommend them for long-term. Aldrin, see you tomorrow sa seminars. Vita po, Sir Lloyd. It's already 9.25. Pasensya na po if hindi ko masasagot lahat. Um, meron po tayong chat room. Join the chat room. Kaso nga lang nawala yung description ng live ko eh. So, this is the chat room. Just download Discord. Dito po, marami. Nagtutulungan ang mga tao. Sharing information here. Lahat. Uh, meron dito Investor's Lounge for Investor's Talk. Dito sa Trader's Lounge, ang mga kulitan. Right? Ang mga hypan. Dito lang. Bawal po. Dito sa main chat room. This is the main chat room. Bawal ang hype dito. Kinokontrol ko po yan. Right? Investor's Lounge. Charting discussions. Dito nag-chart ang mga tao. If you have any charting request, dito tinutuloy. Right? Download the chat room. This is gonna be very helpful for you guys. Right? Um, seminar February 2. Konti na lang po seats. Huwag niyo po sasayangin yung opportunity na yan. This weekend, if hindi kayo maka-join doon sa February 2, online po tayo Friday and Saturday, 8 in the evening. Send me a message if you want to join that. February 15, Dubai. February 16, Abu Dhabi. February 22, Qatar po. Send me a message for the registration. I hope to see you there. I'm asking for your support po dyan sa Dubai. Sana makita-kita po tayo dyan. We are gonna sharpen your trading. Right? So that's it for today. As always, See you tomorrow. Enjoy your day. And let's get rich together. Bye-bye.